So I wanted to do a quick video comparing the cheap Osmo accessories you can get on eBay or from other Chinese sellers with the genuine DJI ones which are more expensive just to see whether they're worth the extra. Now I'm a cheapskate so generally I always buy the cheap versions first just to have a look at them because the price difference is normally big enough that it's worth a punt. So I've got the uh, a cheap extension rod and the official DJI version. I've got the DJI extension arm and a cheap Chinese copy. And I've got the, uh, a lens cap, the original DJI lens cap, which comes with the Osmo and a cheap silicon one. So first of all, the lens cap, the DJI lens cap is quite stiff and it's, you have to push it quite hard to get it on and off. So I find you end up unlocking the gimbal doing that or wobbling it around, either of which I don't think is great. So I wasn't really keen on that. The cheap silicon one, which costs £1.13 on eBay, I actually prefer because it fits fine, it protects the lens when it's in the case, but it just flips off and on really easily. So to me, that's a win for the cheap. The extension rod, this is the, the cheap Chinese extension rod, which was £16.89 delivered from eBay. It works exactly the same way. You untwist it to extend and then you twist it back to lock. The difference is where the fittings are, there's just, there's no metal toothed rosette fitting. There's just literally rubber discs. Now on the side port where you fit the um, mobile device holder, that's no problem at all because the teeth just grip into it and that works absolutely fine. On the Osmo side, not quite so good because the um, it's just effectively a rubber disc. You have to fiddle around, basically screwing it into the rosette fitting and then you just have to tighten it up hard so that the rubber grips the, the Osmo. Now, it, you can do it, and when you lock that off, it will hold, but if there's any force on it, it's got a tendency to unscrew, which you, the only way around that is to do it up really tight, which is obviously not very nice to do. So that I'm not so keen on. Now the genuine DJI arm is a much nicer fitting. So it has a, a, an outer disc so that you can screw that into the rosette fitting and then the inner disc slides the rosette against it. And once you've done that, it's absolutely solid. So when you lock that, it doesn't move at all. So that's a really nice feature. And I think that's definitely worth the money. So, and then to remove it, you can literally just spin that off. Super nice. So the extension rod, the DJI extension rod, I definitely feel is worth the extra money. It's 43 pounds compared with 16 pounds 89. So it is more than double, but I do think that was worth buying. The extension arm, Again, this one is a cheap version I got from a Chinese supplier and it costs £12.84 delivered. It came with this clamp, they call it a bike mount. So the idea is that you can screw that onto there. So you can then clamp this section to your bike handlebars or any other pipe. And then the actual arm part works exactly the same way. You loosen off a thumb screw and you can move it around in, in all directions. When you tighten up that thumb screw, it locks each section, the top, the bottom, and the section and the middle. So that works exactly the same. The problem with uh, this one was that the rubber disc it came with was actually too big, so it didn't actually fit the Osmo. It would foul across, I'll show you a picture now. Uh, so I actually had to dremel that down to get it to fit. Having done that though, you can screw it in, and then you have to tighten the rubber disc up and exactly like with the stick, it does actually, it does work, but it doesn't give you a very solid mounting, which isn't great. So when you compare that with the genuine Osmo extension arm, this feels much nicer. Um, this is 29 pounds compared with 12.84, so it's a little over double. Um, when you, if you set that up, So exactly the same when you tighten up that thumb screw, each section locks. But the difference is it's got a proper rosette fitting which screws in. So when you hold it up against the Osmo, you, you screw that in and it locks absolutely solid. So that will not move at all. So again, it's definitely worth paying the extra, I think, for the extension arm. You can buy that with the car suction mount for not a lot more. So I think that's probably a better deal. Um, this then allows you to pop onto a tripod or a monopod or anything else, um, which is a really neat way of mounting the, the, the Osmo. Now, the other way I did try to do this for the monopod is I bought one of these uh, extension plates where this has got tripod screws in the bottom so you can just turn a monopod 
into the bottom and that then gives you that the that the, uh, the mount and then this side you screw into the Osmo this one does have teeth but it's got like an outer screw and an inner screw arrangement which works fine so once you've got it lined up you can do that up tight and that again is a solid mount and works fine but the arm is much nicer and I think this was 13 pounds so it is cheaper but it's not I don't think enough cheaper for the lack of flexibility this is only obviously a 90 degree angle whereas the uh, the arm you can do a lot more with it because you can fit that onto any tripod or the uh, monopod exactly like before and then it gives you the ability to adjust this for angle and direction so you've got a lot more movement there so I think that's worth buying so not a win for the cheap stuff I'm afraid which uh, is against my normal pattern because normally with GoPro accessories and other things like that I generally find that the cheap Chinese stuff is very nearly as good as the genuine and it's always much cheaper but in this case I think uh, the DJI parts are worth the extra money so the extension arm I definitely think is worth paying double for the, uh, the stick or the extension rod is three times the price pretty much but I do think it is worth it for this the Osmos is not a cheap camera and you really don't want to be worrying about it flopping around ruining your shot or worse still potentially falling off and dropping it so anyway I hope that's useful